Kurt Wazorik here. Um, we're at our family farm. This is a location that was actually homesteaded in the 1800s, late 1800s by my great granddad as he came here from Germany. To, uh, he got a living in production agriculture south of Mount Vernon here uh, in southeastern South Dakota. And uh, fourth generation on the farm here, working the land, so in a diversified uh, farming oper and branching operation. Got a pen of steers that I've got on, on test right now. Uh, just started the test on the 1st of June. And so they're just over their training period and, and starting to collect some data now. Uh, this is my first experience with uh, doing feed efficiency testing. So it's been enjoyable. Um, of the, the calves in the pen there, sired by bulls that I own. And so looking forward to getting some sire data to compare and, and see if one bloodline is, is superior to another bloodline with regards to feed efficiency. Feed cost is, I've heard it estimated as high as 70% of the cost of, of raising cattle. And if we can tweak the needle 5% even or more, I mean that's especially in an environment like today where feed costs are so high and uh, hay prices are, are high, grain prices, this pile of corn has been worth a lot taking it to the ethanol plant and instead you know we're feeding cattle so finding those bloodlines that are superior and, and propagating those bloodlines from a seed stock perspective will pass that all the way through the chain to my commercial customers who buy the bulls to the feedlots who purchase the cattle the calves from them all the way to the packer you know everybody's going to be able to benefit from more feed efficient genetics so 